Hello, global traders. Today's video will cover spread charts. Now, spread charts start at the symbol search up here at the top left. Go ahead and click that. Now you've got the symbol search open. Many of you already know how to use this. Type in a symbol name and a list appears. You can also type in the name of a symbol. So let's type in Apple. You'll see all the assets related to Apple. You could even type in gold. You'll see all the assets related to gold. The choice is yours. But the point of this video is actually to examine the capabilities to make a spread chart or to even write out your own formula using these operators here where our mouse is. See our mouse? So what we mean by that is let's just give you a quick and simple example. We can do Apple and here's the minus button. So we can click that or we can write it in Apple minus Tesla enter. And just like that, we've created a chart that shows Apple minus Tesla. It takes the share price of both assets and shows it to us right here. Of course, that's not all you can do. You can do Apple plus Tesla and it calculates it and instantly shows it here. Or for that matter, Apple times Tesla. Let's click the multiplication. Let's make sure we do this right. Multiply Tesla, enter. And just like that, it's calculated for us as well. So now you understand that the symbol search is much more than just a place to search for symbols. It is also a place where you can create custom formulas. Let's say, for example, you own Apple and you own Amazon and you own Tesla and you also own Google. Well, you can add them all up and then divide by four. So Apple plus Amazon plus Tesla plus Google divided by four, hit enter. And now what you have here is you have the average price of all of these four symbols because we've added them all up and then divided by four. And this is an interesting data point because now you can see what is the average price of all of these symbols that I trade or own? How much per share am I paying on average amongst the four of them? Well, you see right here, $185. So then this insight can tell you if that's not something that you want to be trading in, or maybe that changes your, uh, your investment philosophy or the way you're trading these stocks at that size. It's a new piece of information for you to work with. And of course, these are just examples because you have the capability to make these formulas as needed and you can be as creative or mathematical as you want as long as you are using what's shown to you. So another example, which is one of the more uh, popular ways to use this tool and should definitely be noted is that this works across all asset classes. We've shown you equities, but if you wanted to, for example, price Apple in Bitcoin, well, now we do Apple divided by Bitcoin, we are effectively making Apple priced in Bitcoin. The same way you see Euro, US dollar, now you see Apple, Bitcoin. So let's hit enter. And now we see... Apple priced in Bitcoin and can get a feel for which asset is outperforming the other. Well, Apple priced in Bitcoin is going down. That means that Bitcoin in this example has been outperforming Apple, but we can zoom out to really get a sense of the difference in performance. Of course, back in 2012, when Bitcoin did not trade for much at all, you can see how much Apple was outperforming Bitcoin. And if you read through these charts here, you can also start to say to yourself, that's how, that's the, in this case, how many Bitcoins you need or fractions of a Bitcoin you need to buy a single share of Apple. So these are some really cool calculations that you can do. We did Apple and Bitcoin. We can do Apple and your USD. We can do Apple and yen as well if we so please. Another popular one is gold. What is Apple priced in gold? Let's use gold futures, GC1. Hit enter. Now we are looking at a chart of Apple priced in gold. Let's make sure that our chart has the auto feature on so we can very easily see this. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can use formulas and how you can create spread charts. We can get a little more complex here if you want to see. So one more example that we want to show you is related to these um, formulas that we're creating is you can combine them as well with symbol comparisons. So for example, we have Apple priced in Bitcoin on the chart. So here's Apple priced in Bitcoin. And then here is a compare or add symbol. So we can click compare symbol. And now what we can do is add Apple. So we'll add Apple to the chart. And now what we're doing is we are comparing the two. We're going to want to do, let's do index to 100 to make sure that the scale fits. What we are now doing is comparing the two. We see Apple priced in Bitcoin going down, 
but Apple is still relatively up. So now you are gaining some understanding into the trade-off of the trade. Sure, you could have held Apple and still performed well. Look at this, index to 100. However, based on the performance of Apple priced in Bitcoin don't going down, you know that in this case, Bitcoin is outperforming Apple. These are additionally some of the insights that you can take away from this. Long story short, you can create these formulas as needed. One more really important thing is that these formulas can be added to your watch list. So as an example, we have Argentina stocks here. Why don't we go ahead and create a brand new watch list? And we're just going to call this watch list spread charts watch list, save, and watch how great this is. So now that we have this, this um, uh, formula added, we're actually going to use the hotkey for watch list. In this case, we're on a Mac option W, so it adds it right away. And look at that. The spread or formula is now in our watch list. You can do this as many times as you want. Let's revisit the formula we made here to see the average price of these four symbols. And now let's do option W to add it again. And now we've got these formulas added to our watch list. We are creating a highly custom watch list based on our formulas. You can also, when you open your watch list, click the plus sign here and create these formulas from scratch as needed. Of course, you can see the recent formulas we've been creating for this these videos. So if we wanted to do the Apple divided by your USD or Apple priced in your USD, click add to watch list and it's added just like that. So now that you've watched this video, you know all the basics of getting started with this feature and what you can do. It may be a helpful resource for many of you so that you can compare assets, create custom formulas, look at average prices, perhaps type in different components of your current portfolio and create a formula that represents your portfolio. That means you can chart all of that as one formula that you type in your symbol search. Then of course you can add it to your watch list. So this video is really meant to open your eyes up to what's possible. Let us know what you think or if you have questions below. The best way to get started is to take all the information that you've learned from this video, open up the symbol search box and begin creating formulas. Thanks so much for watching.